So I was watching an episode of the 2019 National Geographic miniseries Hot Zone with a friend of mine. And the series focuses on an outbreak of the Ebola virus in Virginia in the United States in 1989. But it also features a second narrative that takes place during the first outbreak of Ebola in 1976, where uh, characters working for the WHO travel between Sudan and Zaire, attempting to identify and study this new and horrifying virus. And during one of these scenes, uh, my friend asked me if that's similar to what medical anthropologists do, as though medical anthropologists did the same work as epidemiologists, diagnosing and um, finding cures for diseases. But the question made sense. Uh, visually, the 1976 scenes are evocative of a lot of the imagery or iconography of early ethnography. Um, European and North American researchers in the field, working in African communities, speaking in African languages, and trying to understand um, local cultural responses to things like disease. Um, there's even a bit where one of the characters explains the cultural perception of the link between disease and witchcraft in a way that's straight out of Evans Pritchard's witchcraft oracles and magic. She says, They know it's a virus and illness that makes them sick, hence the bleach. What makes it spiritual is why it targets a specific person. That's where beliefs, witchcraft, faith comes in. Of course, the protagonists in the hot zone aren't medical anthropologists exactly. They're epidemiologists, virologists, aid workers, and military personnel. But some types of medical anthropology do actually fit into that environment pretty well. And that raises a question that I'd like to talk about in this episode of Off the Shelf. Um, what is medical anthropology, and what do medical anthropologists do? Oh, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm not your enemy, I'm a scientist. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. In a nutshell, medical anthropology is the study of human health and disease, um, as well as different cultural and historical approaches to healthcare and biocultural adaptation. And what people mean when they say biocultural adaptation is the study of the relationship between human biology and culture, and the role that that relationship plays in our ability to respond to the social and physical challenges posed by different kinds of disease. Uh, traditionally, medical anthropology is broken up into three sub-disciplines. Um, medical ecology, ethnomedicine, and applied medical anthropology. Uh, the first of these, medical ecology, focuses on the ecological aspects of disease, as well as uh, different cultural reactions to the environmental um, uh, phenomena that influence the spread of pathogens. In other words, um, specialists in medical ecology are interested in how the environment influences human health and how different cultures adapt to those ecological factors. One of the dominant uh, perspectives in ecological health literature, as Anne McElroy writes, is that the evolution of disease parallels human biological and cultural evolution. Um, for example, the medical and ecological risks faced by a society of hunter-gatherers are totally different from those of early industrial societies. So medical ecology also examines the historical epidemiological profile of different pathogens and how we've responded to them in different um, historical periods. The second subdiscipline is ethnomedicine, which is the study of different culture-specific conceptualizations of disease and healthcare. Um, in the past, ethnomedical researchers often studied the medical practices and beliefs of societies without access to Western medicine or cultures where traditional uh, pre-modern medical practices were still used. But the field is increasingly reflexive, and contemporary ethnomedical specialists also study the uh, perception of disease, illness, and well-being in uh, developed societies as well. And one of the core concepts that informs ethnomedical research is that different people within a society adopt uh, different explanatory models for the spread of disease. And explanatory models, or EMs for short, are culturally informed explanations for how a disease spreads, um, how a disease is diagnosed, and how it should be treated. So in Hot Zone, for example, uh, when the, the epidemiologists encounter local explanations for the spread of Ebola, where uh, people attempt to explain to the doctors that the disease um, was caused by witchcraft or sent as a punishment by God, the show is representing different explanatory models um, from those that we encounter among the medical experts working for the WHO. And um, in Hot Zone, 
Grace Gummer's character, who's an aid worker named Melinda da Danport, is really the closest thing that we have to um, a medical anthropologist and specialist in ethnomedicine. She spends a lot of time uh, contextualizing local beliefs for the epidemiologists and also uh, translating local languages and dialects into English so the other characters can do their work. The third subdiscipline in medical anthropology is applied medical anthropology, which is a way of saying that some medical anthropologists use their ethnographic expertise as a supplement to actual medical healthcare work or um, scientific research in epidemiology. Applied medical anthropologists might work, for example, um, as public health consultants in the field or in hospitals and clinics, um, collecting stats or organizing clinical laboratory work. It's a very eclectic and interdisciplinary field that mixes um, qualitative and quantitative methods. In conclusion, uh, medical anthropology as a whole is a multidisciplinary field that focuses on different historical and cultural conceptualizations of disease and healthcare. I mean, it often involves significant ethnographic components, but in applied medical anthropology, researchers sometimes also specialize as medical specialists in their own right. And to simplify the complexity of the field, we tend to use those three sub-disciplines, um, medical ecology, ethnomedicine, and applied medical anthropology as a kind of shorthand to explain the different types of research that medical anthropologists do. If you found that helpful, please do like and subscribe. Uh, we're just getting the channel started, but I'm planning to continue putting up a lot of content in the future. In the meantime, be safe. We love you.